Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over on cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you check out. Hey everyone and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week we are bringing back CD C C E D H week. There we go. One C take. Commander. Nailed got it. There. Got there. Perfect editor. Make me sound great as usual. Anyway, it's foreshadowing the game. <laughs> we already had our first pun. First pun. We're Ten seconds in. Let's go. Um, so for people who do not know what C E D H is, especially how I try to pronounce it. That's shorthand for competitive EDH. So you can think of every single commander deck is kind of on a power level uh, spectrum. We usually bring decks that were in the middle of the spectrum. Uh, lowest of the, uh, like one end of the spectrum at like zero is like ultimate jank. Like these are just a pile of cards that you put in a, in a pile. In the middle, you have like decks that have a theme, wants to achieve a goal, but aren't doing like them, don't do it the most efficient way possible. And then on the far end, at the top high level, uh, part of commander power level scale is CEDH, competitive EDH, where the goal is to make the most efficient, powerful deck possible with the ultimate goal is to just win the game. There's no other uh, alternate goals, uh, there's no like theme considerations or lore considerations or even like politicking really. It's all about trying to maximize your chancing, your chance of winning the game. That's all there is to it. So we are doing CDH and we're trying to do it as well as we can do. Obviously we're not like CDH, uh, experts. Uh, if you didn't know, if this is your first time watching, uh, <laughs> Commander Clash, we're not the best. Um, but we did have some help this time to make sure that we're at least trying our, our hardest to make it as CEDH as possible. So I actually approached uh, friends of the channel, Play to Win, uh, uh, Dylan from Play to Win, and he provided us all the decks that you're going to be seeing. So these are not decks that we built, God forbid, that would be horrible. Uh, these are actual decks that people would consider in the CEDH community to be proper CEDH decks. So these are the actual good decks how we're gonna play them is not gonna be op optimal <laughs> like we've never played these decks ever before this is like the first time we're looking at them so obviously it's not gonna be perfect but uh, at least we're gonna see the cdh cards that people would agree are actually cdh so we'll that speak huge for yourself <laughs> oh. i will play this perfectly <laughs> I always play perfectly. I never mess up. Low it's a blue deck. It's fine. Yeah. You know what you do. Quote it. <laughs> Quote low, it. I'll low never key. mess up. Yeah, low key. This crim is actually just a CDH, but we never do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm the only reason why I mess up is because I'm not used to playing such a low power. Yeah, he was, he was only at one percent of his power, and now he gets to show his yeah. true form. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna mess up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's kick it off with Crim. Then, what deck are you running this week? Uh, I am playing, like, I don't normally play blue decks or Grixis, so I'm trying something a little out of my wheelhouse. I'm playing Kess, Dissident Mage. Ooh. Um, this is, okay, because I'm obviously very good at not reading off the primer. Uh, it is, it is, <laughs> uh, an ad nauseum deck at its, at, at its core, so it's a turbo ad nauseum deck. Uh, and a lot like what CDH is, is where, you know, you're, you're kind of just get, trying to get to your Thassa's Oracle combo and whatnot. And this really kind of goes all in towards getting it. Uh, it, it. But it also has tons of sweet ways to recover. Because I was choosing between this and Golden Control, quote unquote, which is a Tassiger control deck. Um, but the reason why I went with uh, Kess was because I like the red cards. I like having, like, you know, Wheel, Red Elemental Blast, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I know that I want Blue Black X. But, you know, I just, I had to choose between the green and red because, you know, standard has made me hate green so much that I just don't even want to see a forest symbol. <laughs> <laughs> How upset will you be if you see every single green deck is running Veil of Summer, by the way? I mean, at this point, you know, when, when, you, when you play as much standard as I do, you know, you just, you learn to soak in it. You marinate in your anger not even, <laughs> about not, how much you hate green. Not even phase. Okay. All right. Oh, just another day in the office, huh? Okay. Awesome. All right. Next up, we got Seth. What deck are you running? 
I am playing Food Chain Slivers, which its name is a little bit deceptive because the only actual sliver in my deck is my commander, the first sliver, but the deck is a combo deck, like a lot of CDH decks. My combo is essentially getting Food Chain on the battlefield. Food Chain lets you sack a creature to add mana equal to its converted mana cost plus one, so you get to essentially make infinite mana if you can find a creature that you can sacrifice or that you can cast from the exile zone. I think I already missed, uh, <laughs> missed explained food chain. You exile the creature rather than sacrifice it. So the combo is you exile the creature to make mana, then you recast that creature from the exile zone, something like Squee or Mist Hollow Griffin. So you're making more and more mana every time you do that. And then that's where first sliver comes in. First sliver is the cascade five color legend sliver. So once you make infinite mana, you get to just keep casting first sliver to cascade, play your entire deck. And after you play your entire deck, you win somehow. There's Jace's, there's Thassa's Oracle combos. Uh, so some sort of additional combo. But the main combo, uh, Food Chain, a creature you can cast from Exile, and then cast for a Sliver until you play literally every card in your deck for free with the Cascade mechanic. Awesome. Hmm. Are you trying to crash Moto again, <laughs> Seth? All right. Uh, oh, maybe. Also, this, this week, I think you all can't say anything because we all play about 29 lands. <laughs> <laughs> But somehow the only person who's going to get mana screwed is Krim. I'm calling Correct. it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, Richard, what deck are you running? All right. I believe I am the only non Thassa's Oracle deck at the table. I made a terrible mistake. Thassa's what? I, I don't know what that is. I, I looked at the deck list, okay? And I'm like, wow, these, there's like so many combo decks. Let me find a Timmy deck. I'm like, Snoop combo. That, that's like, a deck I play in modern. I know what's going on. So I think I actually got the most complicated deck. I have like multiple combos, uh, in my deck. So the main combo is, uh, Snoop with, uh, Kiki Jiki. Uh, I have Doomsday Piles I can make. I have Felidir Guardian combos. I have, uh, Underworld Breach combos in my deck. So I'm like loaded up with combos. I took the deck for a, a couple spins before our recording just to make sure I know what I'm doing. I like fumbled away like 75% of my combo <laughs> turns. <laughs> it's very innocuous. You're like, Oh, I forgot about my Bob trigger. So I put my piles wrong. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I needed to fetch. So there goes my pile. Like, Oh, I actually needed like five red mana instead of four. Oh, that's wrong. So uh, there, there's a lot of uh, nuances here. And it kind of reminds me of legacy or vintage where like you just fetch the wrong land and like. You fizzle and die, and like that's it. Like <laughs> your turn one play just ruined your entire game. Uh, this 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 might happen, but hopefully uh, we can like get there with the goblins. There there's no backup aggro goblin plan, by the way. This is not modern. <laughs> this is all in goblin combo. <laughs> Did you ever figure out how to uh, still win the game if you draw into Kikijiki? No idea. <laughs> I, I've been trying to figure out, like, if I have Kiki Jiki in my hand somehow, like, how do I combo off? I, I haven't figured it out. My best answer is, like, kill it somehow and then, like, doomsday to combo. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fantastic. We're off to a great just start. Hope, just, we, we're all just, like, brainstorm me or something and hope I draw a Kiki Jiki. <laughs> yeah. We all know magic here. We, we're, we're fine. This will be fine. <laughs> um, speaking of complicated combos, I am also running a Thassa's Oracle deck. Uh, as Richard pointed out, all, all three non-Richard players are running Thassa's Oracle <laughs> combo. Uh, Thassa's Oracle is very complicated. What it does is, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue, and then you put one of them on top of your library and the rest on the bottom of your library in order, in any order. Um, and if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So it's basically like Laboratory Maniac. Uh, except even even easier to pull off because it costs one less mana. And also, it doesn't require Thassa's Oracle to be on the battlefield. It just has, a, when the trigger resolves, if you have no cards in your library, you automatically win a game. Or, early, or two at less, uh, really, because it's uh, two blue, so it has devotion to, to two. Um, so the deck is all about just like casting uh, one, a one-mana spell called Demonic Consultation. It has a bunch of text, but all it does is it, it exiles your library. So you cast Thassa's Oracle. With the trigger on the stack, you cast Demonic Consultation, uh, exiling your entire library. Thassa's Oracle trigger resolves, and you just win the game. Uh, very little ways to interact with that. You really need like a stifle effect. 
Uh, or you need to like, uh, yeah, that's basically it. A style full effect or a counter magic on the Oracle. If it, if it enters the battlefield, it's too late. So, uh, really, really powerful ability and built around this combo is Najila, the Blade Blossom. Uh, special honorable mention to Thrasios slash Bruce advantage by Dylan, aka play to win. Um, I was going to run that deck, but there was a couple cards that I just couldn't get online, so feels bad. But I will link the the deck in uh, the article section so you can check it out. Highly recommend it. It's not an Oracle deck, and it's really, really cool. This deck is also really cool, though. Najila is all about attacking. Uh, it's a very busted commander. Uh, just with Najila on, on her own on the battlefield, you can start amassing a huge warrior army and just, like, killing everybody. But this isn't actually really devoted to Najila. Like, there's a, there's a bunch of ways to take infinite, uh, combat steps with Najila in the deck. And that's fine and all. But the deck can win without ever casting your commander, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, there's like the Thassa's Oracle thing and some other stuff that I'm sure, uh, is in the deck that I just haven't figured out. Um, so yeah, that'll be great. Uh, hopefully I will not mess it up. Uh, how hard can it be, really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll do. I'm sure you'll do fine. Well, we'll, we'll all be fine. There will be no punts <laughs> yeah, this week. No punts at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. So with the deck intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. I think my hand is good. Let me let me check the primer on whether or not this is a good hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm also doing that right now. Like, uh, uh, is... all right, all right. So I have no mana crypt in my hand, so that's not good. Uh, so this how expensive fine. are your decks? That that is my question. My oh, deck clocks I think mine's in like nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, six thousand dollars in paper. Uh, four hundred online. So that's like double a legacy deck. Yeah, I think mine... I keep this hand. After looking through everything, I think this is a hand that I can keep. <laughs> this is also a hand that I shall keep. I believe. Yeah, mine is like eight thousand dollars. So I think that's kind of just the going rate for a CDH deck, which yep. is kind a of steal. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's also six thousand dollars. I mean, like to be fair. Three thousand of those dollars is a single time twister. Which <laughs> I assume you probably don't have to have. So, <laughs> well, uh. to also to be fair, when I talk to a lot of the people in the CDH community, they do say that they're okay in casual settings to allow proxies. Not not like counterfeits. Obviously, counterfeits bad. Proxies, however, where they're obviously like not real cards. People in the CDH community is more open to that whole thing. Um, so I would assume if you if you wanted to build one of these decks and you wrote on a piece of paper time twister, that people would be okay with it. Hold on, guys. I'm trying not to punt. Start of yeah, I don't even oh, man. Uh, aren't aren't you a mono red deck? <laughs> uh, Whoa! It's happening. It's happening. Uh -oh. Hold on. Uh -oh. All right, uh -oh. let me let me. Uh, there we go. Uh huh. Are we dead? Are we dead? <laughs> no. Is it Snoop? If I had a black lotus, you could be dead, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop, there it is. That's comforting. Whoa, oh. Goblin Recruiter. That's that's really good oh. for your thing. That is a that is a turn two kill. If we can't interact no. with it. Just uh, leave me alone. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, it's so... Richard Richard things here. Uh. Uh. So we need to be able to stop the Snoop. Yes. Because I assume what you do is you put Snoop on top and then stack the rest of the combo. So you draw Snoop, play Snoop, and then go infinite and win. So we need to stop Snoop from resolving? Yes. <laughs> no, yes. just cast your fastest yes. oracle. What are you guys yes. doing? <laughs> Mind yes. your old game yes. plans. Read your primers. Should you keep your hand or not? <laughs> I did not keep a force of will hand, so I <laughs> I don't uh, think I can actually stop this at the moment. I don't think I, I I don't think I can stop this either. So we're just dead on Richard's. Are you, when are, Richard are you just gonna win? You're, I like I can't stop it, but I can win. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best way to, to stop it, right? Like if you just win the game yourself. I think we just have to trust that Richard will uh, will punt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's our only hope. <laughs> don't worry, I, I already pre-fetched, so I can't fetch to undo my pile. Uh, I don't have additional sources of card draw to screw up my my pile either. Um, Actually, wait. Hmm. Can you win next turn? Like, 
because Snoop needs to not be summoning sec. Does the combo nah, include the nah, ability? No, I can't tap out. Tap out and discard mm. your hand. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I'm still. I'm still reading something. That's why I'm like, hold on. I, I want to make sure this does what I, I think it does, and I don't accidentally mess up immediately. Oh no, torch courier, torch. Uh, that the words. It gets oh the no, haze, Crib's gonna. Right? That's a that's an LED. Crib's going off. <laughs> LED. Oh my goodness. Or do you know how to use <laughs> LED properly online? Because that's a whole thing. Yeah, that's that's my concern right now. I'm like, I don't want to mess this up because if LED like makes me discard, it would control. be very upset. Yeah. You have to hold control. Yeah. Oh, if you want to do stuff control. with it. With stuff on the stack, yeah. Actually, right. wait. It's okay. It's going to make you discard your hand if I use it. If right? you activate it, because yeah. that's part of the like discarding your hand is part of the cost. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you yeah. activate, so, so you want to cast your spell and then hold priority yeah. at crack. Yes. Like, like if cast you want an and then crack it. Yeah. If you have, or like time, time twister, twister or whatever, and then you crack it in response to the time twister on the stack. So I'm looking at Richard's combo. So he has Snoop. He plays Snoop, and then he has Torch Courier on top. I mean, you guys saw the pile I stacked, no? Or do you, do you guys? See oh the, wait, we the actually get to. Yeah. Game? So he has Snoop yeah, yeah, yeah. on top. Then so he has I play Snoop. Snoop I Torch Courier it to give it haste, and then yeah. I Kiki Jiki. Uh, and then with the last activation of Kiki Jiki, I copy Recruiter, getting a fanatic on top, and then I just I'm, kill you guys. I'm trying to think here, like, can I win this turn? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have, you, you have five mana. I would go uh, for it if possible, because I think Richard's gonna, like, if we, I don't have a way in hand to stop Richard, so I think you should just, if you don't have a way I to mean, stop Richard either, you might correct, as well go But, like, for the it. thing here is, I'm trying to figure out if I can go for, like, actually go for it, because the thing here is, Mox Opal's not live. Yeah, oh, you need, you need yeah, another artifact. Uh, so I'm solely relying on this LED. <laughs> we don't have to crack the LED. Like, how can you win if you need LED for mana? Because aren't you going to have to discard your <laughs> Ah, this thing was <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the threatening play. <laughs> it, it isn't, but the thing is, like, I don't think the other line works. Yeah. I'm never going to cast a non-creature. All right. Pay for I'm, better, I'm guys. sure the viewers will tell us how, how wrong we were on every single action that we took this game. You're like, Tomer, right. you could have won before the game even started. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Why did you keep like, that hand, Tomer? You could have won the game if you just mulled. All right, Tomer, I, I have a plan. We're friends. I will give... I will give you a, a spirit, and you can attack Richard. <laughs> Wait, I don't get why you're giving him the spirit. Because he goes to attack and attack him do. a bit, and then maybe maybe if he's at thirty, maybe I'll life, block. Get... Maybe I'll screw oh, up the oh, block. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah, yeah, because yeah. okay. All I have is a <laughs> is an elvish mystic. Oh, all right. Are we actually going to run into the meme of like CEDH is a turn one kill with no interaction? Because this is not supposed to happen. <laughs> Possibly. All right, viewers. <laughs> I have these two things. I know probably sequencing wise, I should probably go for like this this turn, and then next turn I can do this, and then also cast my next commander. turn. You're, you're not gonna have a next turn. I'm not gonna have a next turn. <laughs> ah, I have a. You're gonna, you're gonna need to stop it. Yeah, that's, that's ambitious. <laughs> next turn. If you cast a non-creature spell, I might be able to draw something to stop it. Oh, that's actually. Oh, yeah, you're that's not true. gonna get a next turn either, though. Like I mean, draw, no, no, I guess you, you draw you can draw a counter spell. But how do you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah. You could probably, maybe you can draw a force of will actually, which is why you should cast things no, that are no, not. You don't want to cast it a Mystic Remora and be that kind of person. Just play a creature and pass. All right, all right. All right we're <laughs> gonna hope, hope I punt. Set yourself up for when I punt my turn away. Play a Winslow with <laughs> you. Yeah, I think I actually have to have to try and give him a draw. I think I grab Tyga. And then, here you go, Krim. Okay. Good luck and have fun. I is can't. That, be I the... feel so dirty giving somebody a, a car of missing. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. Yeah. After it's all so the times wrong. you yell at me for not paying Tomer. Oh, uh, Utopia sprawl on a taiga. Do we play wastelands? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. At least strip mine, uh, and then we pick. I well, strip mine. It doesn't matter what you do. Then <laughs> you're gonna get two for one. Let me just like pick uh, blue. Uh. Let's pick blue. Everybody likes blue. It's a nice color. Uh. You definitely got a force of will off the top. Uh huh. All right, all right. Now, now this is the key part. This is the, so now, uh. now he won't be able to combo up. <laughs> Thirty-eight life. 
Boom! Okay, now I cast ad nauseum and come up one life short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Huh. All right, Richard. Have fun. I, All right. Let's see if Richard can stack tiles correctly. <laughs> I'm, s- I'm still actually not seeing how this wins, honestly. What? I it's, mean, what do you I mean? Have, I have a hasty snoop. Yeah, how but- do you have a hasty snoop? Torch Courier, the card you were memeing about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It's on top of my deck, so I play Snoop. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can play Goblins from the top. Yeah. So I play a Torch Courier. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now you, now have, now, now you should have it. Yeah. Yep. Now you got it. So now, uh, if this resolves, someone doesn't like Sword Snoop or something. Force. I got nothing. I don't know. I guess uh, we couldn't do it. I think, so I think I give, if anybody had like a force I give roll, they'd probably stop the snoop, right? Yeah. So that's game. Yeah. Uh, so now I copy snoop using Kiki Jiki's ability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. I make like basically infinite of these. Do you guys want me to actually? You don't actually have no. that. I I, I, I I know know that table. I'll, I'll I've show never, the loop here. I've literally never seen Snoop combo before. So this okay, is... so pretend I have 120 of these now. Okay. 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 I just keep doing this. Yes. And then I copy Recruiter with the last Snoop activation. Oh. Uh, Recruiter lets me stack piles again. So now I will stack a Mog Fanatic on top. Mog Fanatic lets me sacrifice itself, right? Right. To okay. deal damage. So you, you uh, so would have now had, I sacrifice yeah. all my snoops and like ping you guys down. Okay. Ah, uh, but you, wait, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait. Uh, but I came up with 120 up. iterations of the combo. You short. messed up the combo, everybody. <laughs> He's, he didn't oh. do it. Good That's game. It. Good <laughs> game. Wow. Okay. All right. That is exactly like the the meme of CDH. That was a that was this a straight not up really supposed to happen. We're supposed to interact. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Off to game two. I mean, I get so to put that in context, though, Richard won the die roll for yeah. one thing. Yeah. So that was hugely beneficial uh, because I had two mana interaction in my hand, but I couldn't actually interact. I had a mana drain. So if he hadn't won the die roll or if any of us had like force of will, any removal spell that would have went way differently. I had yeah, a, there's vamp- a lot of one mana removal spells that would stop me. So you guys didn't even need like force of wills. You just needed like a swords or. So uh, I don't know if I play any actual like removal, honestly. I have lots of counters, oh, I but I don't have again. much. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. Gosh. This, this episode is just going to be Richard winning on turn two. <laughs> like usual. <laughs> Richard like always usual. Wins. <laughs> always wins. Uh, always no- wins. <laughs> We ran a stat <laughs> check on it. I only won <laughs> one game this season. That's always. <laughs> always. Always winning, this guy. All right. I have a no lander. Maybe because I run 29 lands. Uh, it. <sighs> yeah, I would have. If, if I went before Richard that game, I could have. I had Cyclonic Rift, uh, Vamp Tutor. I just drew a Vamp Tutor. And then a Demonic Tutor. So I could have Demonic Tutor for a Force of Will. And then uh, pitched the Cyclonic Rift to stop the Snoop. All right, I guess we, I guess we keep this. I guess this is kind of, this is kind of a bleh. This is a blow, hon. Why does EDHX play Tarner's Citadel? That card seems oh, so incredible. You, 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 you need a land of any color. Pay three, yep, life, life three damage. Matter. It's like three City of Brass stapled together, except you still only get one mana. Is Thassa's Oracle <laughs> going to hit you down to death? Like, <laughs> is life even a concern in this format? <laughs> little bit maybe we'll see. i mean i guess after last game maybe not like <laughs> if you're just gonna combo kill me on turn two what's the matter uh we're just gonna keep this i think i looked at the primer it seems like this is acceptable <laughs> <laughs> this is, yep, this is basically my life right now I, I i think this is what the primer says to do so <laughs> i will <laughs> if if i do anything wrong by the way it's not my fault it's the primer's fault i can't even say that with a straight Straight tone. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta consult my deck. <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna Did die before we get a turn? Did I have so much mana, but it's the wrong colors. <laughs> Let's see if I can somehow win. Ooh, well, yeah, I don't... Richard really needs to stop winning the die roll, I think. <laughs> right? No, I can't do it. Aww. Right? Can I? I don't have enough colored mana, so red, red. Then I would have colorless. I wonder mm. if CEDH would be more fair if the person who goes first doesn't draw a card. 
Because I feel like going like in like in regular commander it doesn't really matter, or not regular commander, but like okay, lower so power we'll commander. Do it doesn't really matter if you go first as much, but in CDH, holy moly, that that game felt dictated by who went first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mana. I will allow this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> resolves. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I will oh, allow this too. Uh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I definitely am allowing all these cards. Do you yep. just have recruiter in hand again? <laughs> <laughs> but I can't win because so, I, I don't have enough red mana. Poor Richard. I need yeah. triple red to combo off with scoops. Poor Richard. Uh, so, so so we get so, one you know, one turn woo-hoo. to play our mana dorks. <laughs> uh, Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great news. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, okay. Sylvan Library. Yeah, that's it. We're just, it's just a setup. It's just a little setup turn. <laughs> it's okay. Case. You guys are alive. Yeah, we, <laughs> I'm I last. Oh, I feel like going last, I, I, I may not even see my turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I, I need to keep, turns. like, I need to mull aggressively to, like, a mana crab. Like, come on now. Birds of Paradise, all right. That's kind of like a mana crypt. Yep. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yep. All right. I now I win the game. Just kidding. <laughs> it's a Sylvan War Elves and Pass. <laughs> so I, I, I've set myself to fail because I have a Sylvan Library. So obviously it messes with the piles you make. So uh, just watch me punt away the game again. <laughs> <laughs> like this is how you screw it up with like Sylvan Library and Dark Confidants and Fetch Lands. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. <laughs> oh, everyone's just turned one mana dorking. Yep, you need a, something like that. So you need something to, like that. You need to wait a turn before you actually win, though, right? Unless you have card draw. So you like recruiter and put Snoop on top, but you still have to wait until you draw Snoop to actually combo. Uh, yes. So that's what my commander is for. <laughs> so my commander theoretically you can draw cards. Timna, uh, Tana is. Just literally for colors, I think. I don't think it does anything useful. Uh, but, but Timna is, is ways to draw cards. That makes sense. So it kind of speeds up the combo, sort of. Uh, some card right. advantage in the commands on it, so it's good. Oh, Ponder. Hmm. That's not, that's not a bad dork. That's not a yeah, brainstorm. No. It is not. It is not. You are correct. Okay. So I think I just. No questions. Pay all the life, right? Win the game? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have so much life. Okay. Now we have to... Wait. What? How? <laughs> <laughs> I have a Dockside Extortionist, which does literally nothing. <laughs> oh, that's usually It adds card. two treasures. I don't know what you're talking Why about. Why does it count enchantments, by the way, in red? That just seems weird. That is, yeah, that is a little odd. I mean, I guess it's... Not surprising, you know, red has had very few things that interacts with red, and, I mean, enchantments in any way, so they finally decided to let it have some in- interaction. Yeah, uh, the card is so strong. Yeah, no, that that is true. <laughs> okay, Destiny Spinner, oh, alright, can't, All right. can't uh, so no counter creatures. Seems good. Yeah, <laughs> seems <laughs> good. Off to a great start. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so Richard's setting up for the kill oh, through counter no. spells next turn. Uh, that's not great. Can I do so anything? How did he get? This? How did he get the recruiter again? <laughs> yeah, how does Richard always have recruiter is <laughs> open again? What is this? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm trying to just find a second land. <laughs> <laughs> land. I wish I had more than one land. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Vexing so. Shusher? Come on, man. <laughs> I guess I have a Destiny Spinner. I don't actually need it, right? Yeah, but what if it gets killed? Uh, I mean, if you want to use a removal on Destiny Spinner. <laughs> Let's see. So, <sighs> this top, 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 top. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. 
I don't know if I have any way of stopping this again. Do you guys not have... Like, <laughs> it, aren't your decks, like, two-card combos and the rest is interaction? Well, the thing is, like, it's my all- deck is just meant to, like, go combo before you do. Oh, so you're supposed... Okay, so you're all in combo. You don't have interaction. I have, I have interaction. interaction. I kept another it's... crummy hand, I guess. I don't know. I thought this hand was fine. I didn't expect I have interaction, the but it, it's mostly counter spells, which don't do anything with Destiny Spinner. Hmm. All right, can we can we do anything about this? This has to do something. Oh, I really Does he win to... at instant speed when Snoop is resolved too? Like, even if we have a removal spell, he can just do everything. No. So no, no, no. you it, can. Yeah, if you wait till he goes to copy the recruiter again, when oh, the rest of the sweeps right. are tapped out, you can stop it. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, jeez. Hmm. All right. I guess. Uh. Hopefully, y'all can do something about this. I have a. Uh. Death right. Shaman. <laughs> I thought my head was decent too. Tarnish Citadel. Yes, Tarnish Citadel. Yes. Tap it for mana. Yes. Actually, <laughs> take wait. that damage. Let's 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 do it. Th- I th- probably better tap mana confluence first. <laughs> More uh, mana. Like I thought this wow, was a so good hand, but maybe it's not. All right. A little bit of an elf party over here. Look, he is talking. <laughs> All right, save us, Tomer. Save us. You, you and Krim are our only hopes. I really just uh, I want to I want to slam Najila so bad, you guys. <laughs> I mean, you can. And, and then we we'll lose. Then we get comboed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you? What, how much does Najila cost? Oh, it is three. All right. All right. I think. I think. I have answers. So Ooh. first, no, I, I really don't. But okay, let's let's Aww. pretend. Let's just pretend. Hypotheticals here. I'm gonna brainstorm. Hmm. Brainstorm, yeah. Whoop. Find an answer for us, Tomer. Oh, I don't sure know what. I can, oh, actually, I know what I could find that would actually that would save us. <laughs> a fatal just gotta, push. Just gotta <laughs> actually find it. Wait, there's a copy of uh, you control. Uh. Hmm. Wait. Oh, if I get rid of the Destiny Spinner, can we... If you get rid of the Destiny Spinner, maybe I could do something. But it's also a maybe. (laughs) Would that work? Uh, If he has a counter spell. I I don't have... I only have one mana, so I can't stop it. Even without Destiny Spinner. I can Cyclonic Rift the Snoop, but that's kind of like... That's it? That buys a turn. It's pretty but I, pretty yeah. painful, but I can, it, I can get rid of the destiny spinner though. So if Krim has an answer, yeah, answering it permanently would be a lot better. Krim, can I get yeah, rid of I, the destiny I, spinner and you just answer the snoop? I don't know the answer to that yet. Uh! <laughs> it's like it's one of those things. And on top of that, if you get rid of destiny spinner, I think all I can really do is delay it. Well, all I can do is delay it too. Then, then we should try to delay it. Well, uh, it's, that or, it's that or cyclonic rift, right? At so. least, at least delay delays it for what three turns? Don't listen well, to Seth. He's has five mana. <laughs> <laughs> you also you want, have five you, mana next turn. <laughs> yeah, you okay, know what? Right. Let's never mind. <laughs> let's just have some fun with it. All right, uh, and and. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, the Birds of Paradise. <laughs> yeah, well, that was that was the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue here. I heard Death by Shaman is banned in modern. Better get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, that's there. There it is. We figured it out. <laughs> we got can there. You ov- can you overload Cyclonic Rift? That would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> just a handful of rituals. Like, yeah, just win. <laughs> LED. <laughs> Uh, I think with the good news though with this is like I think we'll get like four to five games in in one video. What's blue red? <laughs> I don't think they all are gonna go. Th- I think it really it like yes, Richard's deck combos quickly, but I still think he's gotten pretty lucky to win die rolls and have recruiter in hand two and games in a row. Wait, I don't have I don't have volcanic island in this deck. Oh wait, you can't fetch it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What's what's what's? Oh. Oh. Did you punch? No. You must have a, a blue duel. 
<laughs> okay, okay. No, that's fine. I that was I was just, be a I was tricking you. I, I, I was I was just tricking you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there, there actually are some restrictions to the database. It's not just a free roll. All right, Wait this is minute. literally just me. like my last game. Oh, uh oh. All right, I'm getting rid of the destiny spinner, so it's the ball is in your court. I mean, you guys rim. are pretty set up. Like you delay me a turn, and any of you guys can combo now. Except maybe Krim. Krim has like one land. Everyone else has five mana. <laughs> Yoink! Oh, oh. got him. There. But Come on, Krim, please. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. I, I, I'm F6. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I, I meant like if you can, if you can stop this dude now, because oh, maybe. Okay, well, Krim, maybe. Uh, I, I, think Krim, I feel like Krim is thinking there's a chance he can win this turn before Richard goes. Yeah, that's, and that's why I he's mean, being so coy. That would be probably yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't have a counter spell, but I do have six combo pieces. <laughs> well, like, I could have Cyclonic Root, but I was thinking, like, if I steal the Destiny Spinner, it accomplishes the same thing. It, it protects your combos. And it protects my Destiny combos, spinner. exactly. So I thought that was, Wait, like, that's a brainstorm. Smart. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be the right he's, play. He's digging deep for that land. I hate this deck. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, did we call did you brainstorm it? block yourself into one land? Krim, did you take out some of the lands from the deck? Like you're, <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> no. No way. Oh, uh, so I Krim needed card? a land to be able to stop it. No way. Well, no, you could have a force of will. Huh? I guess you, that's true. You could have told me and then I would have Cyclonic Rift and we would for sure had a turn. Well, the, I, I said that I don't know that's that, right? Same, I would right? need a second land. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You, you want to Rift the Snoop. Okay, hold on. I can still screw this up because it's possible. I'm still in the library in here and screw trying to figure this out. Up. Screw this up. It screw this up. Screw bad. Choose two cards. Okay, wait. How do I? F6. So I put. I put. I put on top. Press two, actually. Two you works. Are, you always you always want to pay the light. Put on top. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Put on top. Okay. No, I screwed it up! <laughs> what? <laughs> you stacked it backwards? <laughs> oh, no. oh I, I, I thought I, I I could choose to pay for life for the last card, but no. I, oh, oh You guys are good. You guys are good. I knew this was, this the was for the content. The game continues. <laughs> what, what happened? You could draw two additional cards. You just press draw two additional cards. So I put Vexing Slusher on top because I wanted to draw the Vexing Slusher uh. and then draw a Scoop as my normal draw and then have the stack. And then I somehow ended up with not drawing Scoop. Oh. Uh, because I, I didn't use Sylvan Library correctly. Oh. Was, um, hmm. Well, hmm, now we might be fine. Now we now we have a game. Well, it's not uh, might be fine. Well, Anybody can win at any time, except I, for Krim. I'm gonna be passing <laughs> the next two turns. So <laughs> I feel oh, like I feel I like Krim saw there recover. was like thirty lands in his deck, and he's like, no, 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 <laughs> twenty. No, lands. like legitimately, like I, so, like the 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 primer says to like Five lands. The, the, like to keep a hand that has fast mana and wheels, right? So like both times, the first game I had a ton of like I guess semi fast mana, but none of the wheels are anything to do with it. This time. I have the wheels of like a like a bunch of two mana uh fast mana. And like if I had gotten a land, this would be a different game, right? Like a single land. Awkward. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to F6 <laughs> the next more <laughs> turn. More counter uh, protection. Maybe this works out for Richard then, because he needed a uh, counter magic protection. I mean this is all according to plan. We just uh -huh, need it. Yeah. We just need him to accidentally. I, I, draw I totally because I know Krim. I like. I know Krim has the force of will in hand. I just know it. So yep. I meant to do this. We'll go yep. slower yep. and safer. Yep. yep. Yeah. Hundred yep. percent. Also F six. Hundred percent. I know Krim F six to, to make it look like he doesn't have interaction, <laughs> but he's gonna F three really quickly. Can we force? <laughs> can we force Richard to draw Kiki Jiki and then he just loses? Oh, he's got yeah. his convoluted play it and kill it plan. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you make me draw like four cards or something. I could, uh, <laughs> could I just 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 let me take my turn to go to Silver Library. I'm sure I'll screw it up. <laughs> well, so, uh, hmm. see, I'm like I'm still matter? like a turn or two away from. Not really. I feel I feel crim might ad nauseum or something. 
I, I have, I have one nothing to Get do. Him. I have nothing to do. I'm, I'm actually just skipping the next three turns or two turns. Uh, I'll try to, <laughs> I'll try to help you with that, Grim. Get him. By, by killing me? <laughs> oh, are you gonna... start the... oh, is are there a wheel? Really? No, I, I'm gonna try, really? I'm gonna try win. Oh, he's gonna try Yeah, to... <laughs> yeah, so we go to the next game, All right, cool. <laughs> uh, so I will Mystical Tutor. How do I keep right, finding the this? same cards? I will take... Oh boy, it's risky. You know what? I'll allow this. I'll let you tutor. Yeah, Sarah resolves. (laughs) Can I do this in a less risky way? But no, Seth, that if you try to win the game, I will be there too. How can this be risky at all? (laughs) So. uh, So my main combo, I. What I need to do is, hmm, get demonic consultation. And name Food Chain, but there's like a 6% chance that it's in my top six cards, and then I exile it, and then I lose. Uh, so I don't know if there's... Do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the memes. All right, well, we'll go for it. I mean, it should work. <laughs> so, yeah, Demonic Consultation is revealed. So, Demonic Consultation. Oh, let's see it. Let's see Exile the Food Chain. Uh, we will cast Demonic Consultation. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. choose a card name, exile the top six cards of your library, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card with the chosen name. Put that card into your hand and exile all other cards revealed this way. So we will name Food Chain. Wait, can't you just win with Thassa's Oracle? I don't have Thassa's yeah. Oracle, though. In your deck? In my hand. Oh, because right. if I name Thassa's oh, Oracle, who knows how many cards yeah, will be left yeah, in my yeah, deck? Yeah. True, true, true. Come on. Yep. Okay, okay. Well, what do we exile? So we didn't kill ourselves. Do we exile a combo piece, please? No. You can cast Miss Hollow Griffin. Yeah. Well, he has Eternal Scourge and Miss Hollow Griffin, yeah, so he can, do, to, he can do the combo. I think you can do the combo now. I don't think I have enough mana. You exile a Jason, you, you exile Jason Laboratory Maniac, but I mean, Thassa's Oracle's still in there. Alright, let's think about this. Is there a way we can make enough mana? Okay, okay, wait, I think this, wait, do we have that in our deck? No. How do we make the mana? One, two, hmm, so I need three Join mana? me, join me in the land of puns, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> <laughs> we have a land. The problem is I'm one mana short from... Yes. Oh, wait, yeah. no, no. This is, this YouTube is fine. will be this very understanding. No, we're, we're good. We're good. Very okay. good. good. We're good. I guess I probably don't need these mana dorks anymore, so so we should be good. Yeah, you Exile. can just sacrifice them to the food chain. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our plan. So add a mana, add a mana, food chain. Yeah. All right, exile creature control, add X mana of any color, where X is one plus exile creatures convert a mana cost. So we sacrifice our mana dorks, get up to four mana. Now we can cast Miss Hollow Griffin oh, so from exile, and now this oh. is where it is infinite, infinite. So we can exile Miss Hollow Griffin, make mana, yeah. recast it for one less mana than we actually made. So this is going to take a really long time because I'm only netting one What's mana in the, the process. Um, but we're dead, right? You, I think so. Well, then yeah. you can, Here, you let me go long enough to cast the first sliver, yeah. and then and then we will uh, go from there. When, once you what, what achieve the infinite mana, you can cast the first sliver infinite times, and you know uh, exile it to the food chain, and that basically, with the cascade trigger, allows you to cast your entire deck. I guess Eternal Scourge is actually better because I don't need to make a bunch of blue mana first. So I will let me just make enough mana to cast first sliver so people can see. Oh, food chain lets you add any mana? Yeah, mana of any color. Yeah. Yeah. So it's slow, but like he exiles it, he chooses one color, and then he exiles it and chooses another color and just keeps going over and over again. Yeah, so so we're almost there. So we're almost to the point where we get to cast Dark Commander for the first time. And then, and then you, you just have to imagine that uh, that we're definition? actually doing this a hundred times. So uh, cast this. So yeah. So now we we have one man of each color, which means we have to cast our commander. When we cast our commander, it cascades. Yup. So we get uh, something from our deck for free. 
which is eh, more man. Oh no, that's actually horrible. I don't uh, have yeah. a land in hand. And then, and then you just sacrifice. So now I can sacrifice the... first sliver, so it go, goes back to my command yeah. zone, keep going through the process. Yeah. I get to play my entire deck, and then I would win with... Uh, I guess Thoth's is Oracle, since I exiled the other two. So I would eventually play my entire deck, uh, exile the rest of my deck with another exile effect, like Limdol's Vault or something like that, and then win with Thoth's Oracle. What happens if you accidentally hit the Oracle, though? Wait, you, you can't? Off the Cascade. Right now. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, before... Uh, all right, well, if that's a concern, I will... Cast Demonic Tutor. And get okay, the Thassa's Oracle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, all right. Okay, got it. All right. <laughs> all right. You got right. it. Good you know, that's how his deck I'm, works. I'm pretty surprised <laughs> that we actually got through two games already. Because we played I'm last... <laughs> la- last Last week that we played against Play to Win. And um, we... Uh, it was like... We were expecting like a, a quick game as CDH is usually faster. It usually ends in like the first, you know, six or so turns as opposed to like 11 or 12, which is our average. It was a long game, and it was like two hours. Oh, I go! I get first. Wow. Aw, that means I'm last. That means I get to win now. Yes. Maybe, maybe we'll just each win one time, and then the the universe will be in <laughs> harmony. Oh, this hand looks yes. like trash. <laughs> this hand's so bad. Maybe cons- Krim will get. Well, the real question is: Will Krim get more than one land on the battlefield <laughs> throughout yes, all these that, games? That's that's honestly the personal <laughs> struggle right now. And <laughs> I'm, cons- I'm consulting the uh, primer. I-, I think this hand is trash. Uh, hand number one. Okay, no. Hand number two. No. <laughs> uh, hand number three. On seven, my primer just literally lists the four <laughs> combos. Oh, that's it. Like nothing else. <laughs> Mine luckily also lists the exact line I have to take and the variations of like the of lines I've got to take. But for hands, it's just like fast mana, wheels, and combo. This hand, ah, uh... is it a snap keep? <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's a, it's a put away. Cause I have, I have a turn one ramp source and I have the mana to cast all my spells, but I don't have any, I don't have any, uh, card draw. Mm. Yeah. So it seems pretty bad. I'm just gonna. I mean, yeah. is your commander enough by itself or no? Just like playing your commander quickly, or do you need more than that? Probably. I probably need more than that, and I don't think there's anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna mull. Tell me if I'm wrong, YouTube. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, uh, yeah, my hand's super bad. So one land, wrong colors. Oh yeah. There's oh. no freebie restarts. It's Cedh. Uh, yeah. I'm this... gonna rules lawyer you. <laughs> this <laughs> hand. Yeah, this we're thing. competitive this week. Oh, do I do I turn one not do anything? That seems so bad. Depends what your turn two is, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you mull down to like four cards if you need to. This though. seems bad. Yeah, I'm gonna mull. Hmm. I actually got a an acceptable hand, but <laughs> it's just like six lands. Crimson, like, I'm not doing okay. Ah, okay. Yes, <laughs> this is this is acceptable. I think. Yeah, well, we'll we'll keep this, uh, maybe, hopefully. This is oof. It's All not right, good. We'll not great. Keep put down the fire covenant. All right. I mean, I'm not saying what do I put away. <laughs> <laughs> fire covenant. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, la la. That's a. What does that find? Uh, I hate I hate tutors. By the way, when you don't know what the deck is, uh. Okay, I think I understand. Um, okay, so step one, we cast. Uh, are you winning? I'm winning this turn. <laughs> are, are we dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> Fetch. Did, did we break it? <laughs> yeah. Where's my tropical island? <laughs> uh. Oh, this can get Volcanic Island. I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dual lands. Right, let's get Underground Sea, actually. And then... 
<laughs> this is gonna be short one, red man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's going off. He's got a box. Force, Wait, what does it do? It. You got oh, any discard a land. Okay. okay. Oh, you don't even know what it what does. does it do? <laughs> you didn't have a land to discard. <laughs> uh-huh. Mindrend blender. What? Wait, I did not no, know. No, I said that card. wrong. You know what? That's that's his name. Did you now. say mind raid blender. <laughs> Whenever your opponent is, I don't want to talk are about just, it. Are you really just gonna play the Gila and draw a card next turn? Oh, it's like <laughs> a it's like a dark confidant kind of. I guess he gets to draw two cards. Don't worry about it. Whenever your opponents, I think you only draw one max. It, I think. I think it's per opponent. Really. Whenever yeah, your opponents, if any total. of that damage... Oh, wait. No, I think it's one. Yeah, yeah It's worded yeah, in a yeah, weird way. I think it's yeah, it one. I think it's fine. I think this is going okay. All right. Do we... Wait, what is this race of purple people? What? That's uh, is this person They're purple? Azra. They're from Battle Bond. They're Azra. So they're tieflings, <laughs> right? So in, in Dungeons & Dragons, there's a race of like half demons called tieflings. And these are literally just tieflings, but they named it Azra for some reason because they don't want to. Oh, they want to keep their two franchises separate for some reason. Even though Wizards of the Coast owns D- Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering, they can definitely do crossovers whenever they want to. They decided to make Azra instead of tiefling, and that very much upsets me because why don't you just bring tieflings? They're very very cool, and they look cooler than these purple people, right? I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I mean, I mean, didn't Magic have a lot I just of? Over- thought that was Lily. <laughs> Didn't Magic have a lot of overlap with D&D in, like, the earlier years of Magic? Were a lot oh, of those yeah. the same? Yeah. I don't know well, why also, they are afraid of that now. Also, Kithkin are halflings. But Kithkin have, like, their own little thing where they're, they're like, psychically attached to all other Kithling, Kithkin, which are kind of cool. But, I don't know. You just Why are you so afraid of uh, crossing the streams there, wizards? I don't know. Uh, all right, more man. My mana base Trim is has so more painful. Mana this game than, I like, know. I, I have more mana than the last two games combined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Seth really turn one passing? Wow. Yeah, that sounds holding that swan song up. Turn one go. <laughs> Oof! What do I draw though? Come on! Come on! Come on! Big money! Big money! Are you going to commit the cardinal sin of end of turn brainstorm? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep a hand with like nothing on turn one? <laughs> uh, so much counter magic and interaction in Seth's hand. I right actually, now. I actually like this hand. I think you'll see, you'll see. Give me a, give me a turn or so, and we'll see. Oh, is he gonna win next turn? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna win next turn. But he actually has like four fast mana cards. He just didn't play them. <laughs> I think we just got this. Ooh, Imperial Z. I, honestly, like I'm not using the primer at this point. I'm just going for whatever seems. Seems okay. I don't know. Oh boy, R- you're just risky. making it your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm forging my own path. All right, <laughs> daring, very daring. <laughs> I don't follow the rules, man. All right, I make my own rules. <laughs> Cdh rebel Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so a little off the top. No, <laughs> just it's one damage. Stop being so. Swords it to prevent the card draw. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Thank you. Lightning bolt. I wonder Lightning if these bolt. decks should play more actual removal. Like, I do any Why of you not? have like swords or fatal pushes or anything like that? Because my deck definitely does not. Yeah, my my deck has no. direct, like a yeah, single target mine has, interaction. My, my interaction is on the stack. All right, this is any color. That's so good. Wow, Mox Diamond's a good card, guys. Did you Ooh. know that? Ooh, mana crypt too. All right, so. Ever well, since that Chandra game, I've always kept in mind that I have wait, a commander. Why did you... What does Najila do? Why did not you cast Najila then attack? Because I didn't have three mana. Oh, you drew the I mana. Think, I think you drew the you crypt. Drew you drew the crypt. Yeah. I Imperial Sealed for a crypt. Spoiler. Aha. Oh, boy. I don't know if this is correct, but all right. <laughs> I'm sure right. the YouTube comments are going to tell me, oh my god, he could have won the game if you just Imperial <laughs> Seal for this. I'm like, you're fine. You got the mana, Krim. It's your time. Yeah, here you oh, go, my, Krim. Always, always with here the brainstorms. <laughs> does it happen, though? <laughs> okay. The yeah, you, can, you can brainstorm. That's fine. Aha. Uh-huh. Very interesting. Do so you win the game? <laughs> 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 
No. <laughs> <laughs> you could just have like Thassa's Oracle and Constitation in your hand and like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, the All fetch right. land. Full value from the brainstorm. I'll allow this. I mean, yeah, thank stifle. you. <laughs> I really, I, if I was, if I was making a CDH deck, I'd put stifle in it just to send a message. <laughs> and shadow of doubt. There's just a lot of fetching and tutors. Shadow of yeah. doubt seems like it would actually be decent. Wow, Demir signet. Okay, you're not allowed to have this much mana, Krim. This is illegal. yeah. I, I've, I've never. <laughs> I'm going off. I think I'm going off. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. This is what it feels like to play the game. Um, let me see now. So that's one, two, three, so. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Yeah. I, I, sh- I should play, I should play it safe. Hmm. I should play strategy. it safe. Hmm. That doesn't sound very crim-like. Suspicious. Well, my primer says that if I don't try to go off by turn four, I'm playing wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> you only have two uh, more least, turns. Yeah, I've got two more turns. I, I think I'm doing this right, but I'm not sure. Does Richard have Recruiter? Oh, Krim's holding up Aetherize mana, that's either. why. <laughs> <laughs> CDH stable Aetherize. <laughs> 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 because CDH is known for winning through combat. Yeah, so, so much attacking yes. in this format. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although you do have an attacking commander, kind of. I have a Nijila, that's, that's pretty boss, I don't know. I like it. There's no uh no Edric CDH decks. I mean, I have an Edric that I try to make as like powerful and a Ooh. very low budget as possible. I don't think Edric's like top tier though. I think he's like tier two. Birthing pod. Hmm. This if Edric gets shut down, the deck doesn't work. Whereas if Najila gets shut down, I can still just... Come on, crew. Oh! <laughs> oh! You need that to protect your combo. <laughs> what are you doing? He has other counters, obviously. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, <laughs> glad you spent that on Richard's spell. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not winning. I'm not winning. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I am preparing for other things. Oh, he's um, going to wheel. Yeah, he's gonna wheel. He only has three cards. He yeah, he's trying to. He's trying to. Oh, uh, and like, this can't here. be good. Is he winning? No. Did he break it? And Lane Tutor is like <laughs> my bad tutor. But what I ooh hmm. Let's get a mana crypt and then break it. Oh, this is actually interesting. What's better? Oh, it's still. I, we I we're gonna stick to the original plan. Oh, Necro. Necropotence. Uh, That's spicy. So the thing is on top of your deck. Yes. Yeah. Are you gonna make him shuffle shuffle his deck? (laughs) You can make him shuffle. Do it! Oh my god! Really? Oh, is he gonna mill? Is there something that mills? Drown in the lock or something? Let me see here. What is what is what is (laughs) happening here? What what does Najila do? Uh, it's a three two that has no other abilities. Don't worry about it. Wins the game. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Huh. He can take infinite combat steps if he has the combo pieces. Is that or the render more of a problem? What? Uh, uh, they're not. Uh, I, I would. I would vote for the city of brass. If you I'd take probably, out the city of brass, then there's I'd probably nothing. kill Najila. Honestly, oh, no. Uh-uh. Kill Najila, please. The kill Najila. Oh wait, what? This takes care of everything. Nice. <laughs> Kills you. Aw. Oh, well, uh, all right. Yep, all right. Well, I tried. <laughs> I want my Necro, <laughs> and you get to keep your Najila. Uh, you get to keep your Najila, Tomer. I'm helping you. We're friends. C- what did you CDH pick buddies. Uh, spell a Spell Pierce. Pierce. Oh, you have a Spell Pierce. Wow, look at you Oh, guys. yeah, the Spell Pierce. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> we're, we're, we're buddies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this seems fine. <laughs> oh, All this over Necro. Necro... It was known as the worst card in the <laughs> entire set when it was printed. I don't know why you're so worried about it. Necropotence is never the worst card in any deck. <laughs> it's it's no risk. How much you get a necro honestly. for? That's the question. What is the right number in CEDH? He doesn't even have the mana for it. Uh, uh, to be There's honest, no with you, tutor. I don't believe that he doesn't have enough mana to play it. Uh, so we'll take. Let's see. 
underground sea. Darn, he took a black source. Uh, Did it right. Dark, ri- dark, dark ritual? ritual? What is going on? Whoa. Necro? <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, the part where I, uh, I I chime in and be like, nah, please. This spell? No! <laughs> ah, I thought it was being clever. This I thought is, it was being clever. This is why I kept the do nothing on turn one hand because exactly I mean, for this yeah. reason. Uh, yeah, well, so, I, I, so I, I, I could have. Oh, you, you, you did something. You light tutored. Yeah, I could have true. forced the force, but I figured, okay, at this point, I'm going to keep Njila. I'm going to let Seth cast Dark Ritual into Necropotence and then counter the Necropotence, and that would be pretty sweet. But uh, that didn't pan out. <laughs> so even though I didn't do any practice games, I did read my primer, and it said early necro, pay half your life. So I think that's what we're going for. Just do all of your life, all but one. What would <laughs> all, happen? Yes, we'll, we'll go to <laughs> all but like four. Okay, that's a good buffer. I get I, uh, in theory, I could go to five and survive. I mean, there's only four power on the bed. Or no, I could go to six. There's no, five you power, would die. Yeah. If you do that. <laughs> How, how fitting would that be? <laughs> uh, yeah, Najila's kind of scary, actually. She's not. Don't worry about it. Uh, Man, so should I Should I have forced? I guess in hindsight, I definitely should have forced the force, but if you, I didn't expect I, another spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I would have, but it would have worked I, in hindsight, but I, 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 at the time, I think it was fine. I also don't think we can win now, right? Because like, Seth's you, going to draw... More backups, he, count, like counter spells. He, he used his force of will, so he has to draw another counter. It's like that's this force, force of, of negation. negation, but that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the only other one. Oh, and uh, the one mana Phyrexian one, but that's mental misstep. There's yeah. also like days and whatnot, right? No, but Krim has a wheel, right? So if, if Seth can't, stop I mean, the yes, wheel. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, 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 can't stop the wheel. wheel. Yeah, if Krim has a wheel, it's gonna feel real bad for Seth. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, he still has tons of cards in his library, so. I think the worst thing would be if I if I lose my combo pieces. That would be bad. Oh, Necro. Right. I wish this was uh, worded in a less clunky way. There we go. This all needs right. to reprint How it. would you want it worded? <laughs> like, does it have to all be individual triggers? The good news, oh, though, is see. Seth is actually at a low enough health total where, like... Nujil is actually him. actually pretty scary against. Uh, like, if Seth you take right additional combat, can you kill him? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna put like a one one warrior on on Krim and Richard. So I'm gonna lose two damage. I want to see if I draw more than one card. I don't think so, but I just want to double check. So you can deal six plus eight, fourteen. If you just swing and take additional combat and do nothing else, I don't have an additional combat. I need Wooberg. Yeah, Mana Mana Crypt is three colorless. That's Mana Crypt. My bad. Yeah. Uh, This boy, that was a pretty horrible necro draw. Just discard Thassa's Oracle. You're fine. (laughs) I turned to like essentially nothing. Oh oh, wait, he has to discard his hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, you only get to keep seven cards. Still have a reliquary tower. I don't think CDH runs reliquary tower. By the way. They're There's not not, like this. not many colorless lands at all in CD. We can't play. We're, we're playing that terrible pay three life <laughs> city of brass. I think there's a premium. Man, of think, yeah, we need all the colors available on all turns by turn one. Huh? All right, exile your stuff, Matt. And we made it. <laughs> all right, your go. That was actually like a super depressing microphones. Well, it's, oh, it's okay. Then you just get wheeled, and you'll be fine. I'm actually rooting for the wheel. After drawing all those cards, uh, I think a wheel would probably still improve my hand. <laughs> no ways. I spirit. would love to do that. <laughs> Sylvan Library. Yeah, you're just throwing away not great cards. Lots of lands. I guess also exiling the Scourge is actually useful to you. The Scourge is good. Yeah, that was the one, the one good thing. All right, Seth. Like, can we just be aggressive enough to kill Seth? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I do have a Najila on the board. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. I don't know about we. We just, like, if Tomer wants. Heads always wins. <laughs> yeah. If, if Tomer wants to, Heads always wins. What? I lost? Ah, uh, Moto fail. <laughs> can, you, can you give Seth a mana crypt to see if he loses enough coin flip? Sure, okay. <laughs> Donate mana crypt. 
Yeah, I'm not going to do this. Uh, okay. Let's attack. Uh, one, one. I'm sending all the other, other ones at, uh, so one's going I at Richard. It matters, right? You can only draw one card here. Let's see. I should be only drawing one card. Yeah. Why is it a May effect? Like, why would I not make warriors? Play around Rakdos charm. All right. Draw one card. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, oh, it actually does. Whenever oh. an opponent, it doesn't say any. Oh, whenever. No, wait. So the card whenever text says your whenever your opponent. Why, why does the text not match the trigger? <laughs> is this, a, is is this a bug? This? That might be a bug. Whenever the an trigger opponent. says when an opponent is dealt damage, and then the card text says whenever <laughs> your opponents are dealt damage. Yeah, now this, I'm curious what the real this card is says. odd. <laughs> All right, but I'll take it. <laughs> I knew it might be tricky. I'm gonna try to look it up. When your opponents, yeah. The the one the one on the battlefield is the correct reading. You know what? I'll huh. take it. Ooh. It's a bug. Like it, it's it's a gatherer. A its ability triggers once regardless how many opponents were dealt damage. Yeah, that is a bug. Hmm. Tis tis tis. Tober, tober, tober. <laughs> I just want, I was, I was, I'm QA. Ex exploiting, I'm QA. Exploiting magic online for <laughs> I'm QA. <laughs> I have to figure it out for everybody. Uh, and here's a Mystic Remora. All right, Remora. now we learned something. What What's wrong with Remora? Oh, I'm about to let Tomer draw a lot of cards. Don't poo poo my, my pronunciation. Don't poo poo <laughs> Remora. <laughs> are, are, oh, it's are you in no. <laughs> How no, are you casting no, no, multiple no. spells but not winning? Yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of cantrips. Ponder, preordained, <laughs> brainstorm. Uh, <laughs> Zero visions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, finally, a format where Zero Visions is not played. Well, that, that's some Grixis looking man. That's okay. not real. Yes. We're on this plan now. <laughs> That's not a wheel at all, Krim. Are we just cast brainstorming? Oh, uh, he wants yes. a. Uh, where's the wheel, yes. Krim? Rebuke could be good. Yeah. I'll tell you where the wheel is when I find it. <laughs> yes, you can draw a card. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Uh. Excellent. That's Come a card on, in my deck. deck. Oh, I'm not in a good spot. This is really bad. But you resolved the necropotence. What? It was such a bad you necro. You again. <laughs> you yeah. necro again. Keep I'm necroing. Getting, I'm getting half your life again. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a little low on life. <laughs> the Seth I know wouldn't say that. Greatness say, at any cost. How so. many more can I draw? <laughs> well, if I can't. 12 life is 12 cards, okay? <laughs> oh. Wow, Winds of Rebuke oh. is really cool tech, actually, in CDH. It's it's there was on yeah. Yeah, with all the tutors that are going on, this is great, right? Yeah. Like, I think that's great, yeah. Top of the library. All right. Look at Krim with right. so much mana. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's <laughs> kind of why I kept this hand. I was like, ooh, I can do things <laughs> if I draw into those said things. <sighs> all right. Do you think Seth can win or he's been playing? Oh, I definitely can't. <laughs> I, I don't think I can win. <laughs> Let me draw some more cards. I mean, and I don't get to draw a card, so. At what point are we also worried about Tomer going Yeah, Tomer off might something? be closer Tomer's to winning about to kill us with combat damage. But, I mean, like, for right now, like, I think Seth, it's between Seth and Tomer. I mean, I'm a non-factor. <laughs> Richard might just drop another snoop on the ground and be like, hey, what up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me set up for my punk by casting Silver Library. <laughs> I mean, I have to imagine Birthing Pod was pretty key, right? To finding some more stuff. You want to pay for yeah. it? Yeah. Um, no, I will not Dark Ritual to pay for it. Oh, right. boy. So Tober's got, six got a, cards. Tober basically got a wheel over there. <laughs> Tober's now. about to win the game. <laughs> uh, here, have more cards. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Tomer is gonna win this game. I'd be surprised if Tomer couldn't win this turn with all those cards. Uh, yeah. I'm still, I mean, we'll see what I draw. 
How afraid are we of the Necropotence, by the way? I mean, very, but, like, also... <laughs> I don't know if it's scary anymore. It already did its thing. Now I'm down to 12. I, If you want to kill it, please. <laughs> so I draw a card for my turn. I would appreciate it. Ooh, Demonic Tutor. Uh, <laughs> Tomer's drawing so many cards. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this is, like, just think of how Seth would do it. He's like, oh, he's already drawn, like, four cards. What's eight more, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, how can I win? Oh, <laughs> shoot. Turn. With no mana? I mean, I tutored, right? It should be good enough, right? <laughs> what, what more do Consult I Consult the primer. <laughs> I would, isn't it just always yeah. recruiter? But I can't draw a card. But I don't have the mana. Yeah. Or should you I got get, library. Should I get interaction for you guys. But I can't cast Recruiter this turn. Oh, this turn. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't win this turn. Next turn. No, 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 but next turn, the library is, like, too slow, right? Uh, Okay. Let's go for this. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Does anyone want to kill my Necro? (laughs) No. Please. (laughs) I'll let you skip your draw step. It's fine. Uh, I'll wait. (laughs) I'll, I'll allow this. I have a blocker. <laughs> wow. I'm ready to block. <laughs> I think I just necroed for like 16 and lost because of it. I don't know. I really just, oh, this is so bad. You can always just blame the primer. I, I it's think it, it, it's it, is primer's, it. it is a primer's fault. It is a primer's fault. Yes. So. Always. Always. Uh. <clears throat> so bad um okay sure yeah uh, uh we'll play yes. this we'll play i'm just i'm dying this turn though uh, yep hmm. you could cast the uh, eldrazi thing yeah a, blo- it's, a blocker it's... Yeah, a blocker. You good? That's gonna save and, me. and Tomer doesn't draw a card. And Tomer doesn't draw a card. Look at that. Oh, Tomer's just gonna win this turn. Most likely. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not winning this turn. Thank you. I think you are. I think I think Seth's losing this turn. I'm not winning this turn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For saying that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Search target players. Sap, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Who runs extract? You have so many combo pieces, though. It's, it's in my deck so I can exile my own, like, Mist Hollow Griffin or whatever, but because you were, were talking <laughs> talking down on my deck, <laughs> the extract is coming for you. This is, all right, I need to not talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said you were gonna so kill me. Not have mental misstep. Uh, you, have mental you have nine cards in hand. Fine, go for it. Ha ha! I'll allow it. I don't even know what I'm extracting, honestly. I don't know what you're extracting either. <laughs> Look for Thassa's Oracle. <laughs> oh, that worked. Gotcha. I'm there. not running it. Oh, never mind. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. We'll just we'll take the Thassa's Oracle. Seth, was have, that the only thing, or does he have more oracles? Though? It could have been a, it could have been a bargaining ship, you and me, because it could have been demonic cons- consultation, and I guess ways to get to Thassa's oracle. But oracle's the best way, at least. But yeah, I think he does have, I think he does have backups. You- yeah, that's it. That's what we got. How much life can we spend here? So that's gonna hit me for three, <laughs> four, I five, mean, six, seven. I mean, technically ten, right? I mean, I'm not gonna win oh by my not. God, Seth. I'm not gonna win by not drawing cards the rest of the game. That's not gonna. That's, that's true, not gonna that's do true. it. <laughs> that's true. So wait, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. <laughs> so I guess I guess we got to go to eight and call it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play necro with fear when you when you have a necro, you gotta go for it. <laughs> I can't believe you board, extracted right? me, and then you w- lowered your life total <laughs> even further. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta help that you. Is, that is, that is a bargaining chip. I, know. I like that. We could be friends, Tomer. <laughs> Can we? You, you don't just... have to. You don't have to kill me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you can get five, second six. place. <laughs> so if your absence pilgrim's gone, you just die. Mm. 
Well, I mean, there's a cast too, right? Cast flies. <laughs> I think what do you mean? so. I can take Cass oh, yeah. and the elves and the one ones, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. If I can jump Najila, then I should live at one life. Heads always wins. What? Yeah. You take seven warriors, right? Well, if he takes two Is combats. That Wait. Cumulative. Am I missing something? Prepared. Like the warriors make more warriors that attack. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, yes. That. Plus, he's only going to attack one person to not exploit the moto bug, right? Is it a oh. bug, though? We have to figure according, it out. It, 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 to it literally gather. says on it's, Gatherer. <laughs> does it say that? That it, doesn't, it yeah. doesn't trigger on more? It explicitly says that? Yeah. Yeah, wow. explicitly says so that. ruling. <laughs> dirty, Tomer. So dirty. I'm not... It's like, it says for budget commander slash doctor anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, 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 all right. It's a tri- bitter trigger. Oh, oh. Why would it... They, they coded okay, it wrong, so, okay. which is why the trigger reads differently. It's fine. Like, moto fail one. A, a quality, a quality program. All right, well, we, online. We're just but Tomer playing. already got the cards, though. You see, that's the problem. He's already got the cards. So it's, what is in hand, right? Like, what did the 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 exploiting draw Tomer? <laughs> did you actually pay for the Remora? You paid for Mystic. Wow, so greedy. <laughs> Wait, I'm not. I'm not, not. I'm not here to not draw cards. I don't know what's. <laughs> I keep thinking how this even a turn, thing, but maybe not. So I can just straight up kill Seth. But we're friends, Tomer. Are we, though? <laughs> he just drew. I extracted your thoughts cards. as Oracle, so your odds of drawing deck more card draw would, <laughs> would go up slightly. Yeah, I was thinning your deck for you. Deck thinning. <laughs> I just want to kill Seth. <laughs> yeah, you extracted me. I'm just going to kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> that's That's what you think. You do have a lot of cards. Seth in does hand. have seven cards, but it's what? What is it like? It's not going to be etherized. No one plays that in CDH, and he all needs right, to get two right. more mana. I'll just to take do a. That. I'll take a little bit off the top. Then I say you just kill him. Like well, why just not? Kill him. Well, he's going to counter <laughs> it, and then I don't get to kill but, him. I mean, <laughs> but but then How make him have it? it. I only have one mana. Two, oh yeah, one mana. You make him have but it. You just not. You just knock him low, and then Crim kills him. Well, right? yeah, I'm just gonna knock him low, and then Crim, Crim kills him. I'm mean, just uh, swing everything. I'm not the bad guy here. Crim's the bad guy here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting off that easy. Uh oh. Chain of vapor. Oh. Draw a card. Ooh. Yeah, you get to draw a card. All right, you sacrifice a land and chain the pilgrim. Show. Him. <laughs> <laughs> we will not pay for. If you sack a land, I am sacking it back. I can tell you that. Come on, let's, <laughs> let's have a chain of vapor war, Tomer. Let's do it. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, Bounce my necro. <laughs> let's draw a card. Well, he's actually alive, right? He, he would, oh, actually, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. He would take three. Yeah, he'd go to one. I think, yeah. Technically, if this works, I would go to one. Aww. Ooh. <laughs> begins. It oh. begins. Um. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on my own terms. <laughs> you're not killing. You're not killing me. Oh, this I can't actually pay life. I don't have. It's not going to work, is it? Can I pay to zero? I don't know. Can you? You can. You can pay your. I can pay. Life. Okay, I should. I should be good then. I'm just going to be attacking somebody else then. Oh. Shiv, just let him attack you, and then done it. And then, in response, yeah. threw his way to get the card drop. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate VM. Is, is that kosher in CEDH? My, my is guy. that okay? Can we do that? <laughs> I knew you were gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you extracted my oracle. I was just trying to save you from the inevitable Thassa's oracle demonic consultation pun. I was, I, I was doing you, you a favor with the YouTube, Stormer. I promise. I don't believe you. <laughs> with the YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to make sure you wouldn't get yelled at. <sighs> oh, he doesn't get the mana for this. Oh. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> right? a little... That's, Tactical. That's a little low. All right. Here, you can resolve that. Sure. <laughs> oh, come one. on. You're giving him the mana? I don't want to I don't want to spite him. Well, you can't... You can't die now, right? Well, he can, he can I still can, pay a life. I never die. 
I just oh, wanted to. Pay a lot. I was just gonna let you resolve your counter, so you would get the mana because I eh, I felt a little bit wrong to steal the mana. And boom, necro all the way. Wait, can I not? So, does it happen? Yep. Oh, <laughs> it, yep. Does. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. All right. Good game. Uh, who do I attack now? I guess because I don't want to break. You don't want to break the rules. I'm just gonna attack Richard. <laughs> you can break the rules. <laughs> I'll get out of here, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> He's drawn so many cards; doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> Look, fair is fair, all right. <laughs> you you, you kind of already did draw three cards off of that, and like it's insane. But I, didn't, I didn't know it was breaking the rules. I didn't know there would be a different triggered ability. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There we you go. didn't read the magic online errata notes. <laughs> This is only to be fair, Richard, all right? I just want to be fair and balanced. Here you go. I might just gonna die next turn, just like <laughs> to Kess. through a Nijila activation, possibly. Kess finishes you off. I mean, that, that would take a lot of Kess hits here, but yeah. Oh, like, how much are you dealing damage. anyways? Let's see. It's four, eight, nine? That's nine. only nine, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, next turn is 18. <laughs> Mighty Najila. At least that keeps Richard's uh, Sylvan Library draws in check. Does yes. It. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What else? Uh, this is, why do I have one mana now? Oh, it's the uh, oh, mana drain. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will spend it uh, by passing. Hmm. Uh. Yield until here. Stop on my points. Whoa, 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 Prim. <laughs> All the chain Yo, of Fight Apers. him by sacking a land <laughs> to get the cast off. <laughs> Ooh. You could. You don't need lands anymore. You have enough Najila things just to kill everyone. That's true. No, I'm fine with this. He's just going to combo off. I can't. I mean, he can't. If, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have a combo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get rid of this. I'm literally playing this as a three four right now to attack some people. Oh, let's do it like that. We have to discard more cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just making sure I read that right. Um, how would you? Winds or Chain of Vapors again, right? Oh. You can wins in response. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Cast those things! Oh! Wait, he actually boy. has that one card as a spell he wants to cast. Is it real time? I don't know. Am I dying? <laughs> no, you have one more card in here? Okay, fine. Fine. Crim. That's I mean, the real name. <laughs> of course I want to, like, take my turn, you know? I want to do something, so that'd be pretty cool. You can, you can cast... Oh, you can't cast any spells, right? Okay. Yes, Carry on. <laughs> Carry... <laughs> Play a land Go pass. On. Come on. As you were. <laughs> that looks like a wheel. Feels like a wheel. Smells like a wheel. Tastes like a wheel. Where's the Narset, though? <laughs> Grim that, that's, monolith. That's, that does not look like that, a wheel. He was fighting over. <laughs> that, yeah, he was fighting a over a grim now he's monolith. Gonna reel. No, is, yeah, is there actually yeah, a wheel? Okay, there's yeah, there's the windfall. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you have it, right? Like that's that's why Pyroblast. I wanted. I needed to get blast. Yeah. Oh well, since you pyroblasted me, I'm not gonna attack anybody. <laughs> Richard, we're <laughs> buddies. <laughs> I guess you can use a windfall next turn. I mean, maybe I can. <laughs> I don't know. Cast. Depends if I get a next turn. I know the next card I'm drawing, and I'm definitely targeting Tomer with it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> why Why? Do, why must we fight? <laughs> because you pirate, you counted me, dude. <laughs> I wanted to resolve that. So, I drew the windfall off of a brainstorm, though. So, like, that, that was... Red. Huh. Hmm... 
These cards all kind of suck. Richard could win the game now. I guess, okay. yeah. I mean, maybe. Pay life. I'm like but at this point, life. I'm like, it doesn't matter, right? Somebody's going to win and it's not me. So I'm just going to be like, all right, whatever. Just protect myself with a blocker. Okay, that's Here's a death by shaman. Look at this. Blocks warriors all day. One, two, three, four. Five, uh, five, six. Yeah. No! Ooh, there it is. No! Okay. Oh, but we're not dead. We're dead next turn. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure. Will there be a next turn? <laughs> but that's turn? next turn. Well, right? yeah, like, I, I can, I, I think I can kill one of you. I can't kill both of you. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you can figure that out yourself. No, man. What do I have? I don't have that much mana. I have four mana? If you kill me, I, I, I can tell you right now that I, I can at least windfall or do something <laughs> to make it so that Richard gets his all his ordering messed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want you to do. I have figured out. <laughs> yeah, the next level, please. Yeah, how do you stack with windfall happening? You don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough cards to stack with windfall happening, right? Well, I guess, you know how you can make Windfall irrelevant? You just literally use all your cards. I guess that's true. Because, like, right now, like, Tomer has only five cards. So at most, we get is five. And that's considering that Tomer, for some odd reason, is being very generous and not casting anything. Hmm. And or killing us. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I, if, the, if that really is a problem, I guess I could... Winds of rebuke, <laughs> bounce something to mill. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I guess I do know what Tomer's. I mean, what Richard's trying to do. I mean, it's, I I don't know. There's no good situation. Like no matter what happens, I'm in trouble. All right, heads always so, wins. Maybe Tomer dies to mana crypt. <laughs> and that's that's unlikely. That's very much heads. So I unlikely. won. I always win because heads always wins. Boom. Do I kill Richard this turn? That is the question. I mean, if you don't, I, I, I don't know what we're doing. I mean, Krim has zero cards in hand, so... <laughs> yeah, kill me. <laughs> well, and that would be... <laughs> I'm happy with second place. <laughs> 12, 14 damage. <laughs> and then, yeah, that should be lethal. So we play a land. How does this even work? Tap, no, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, black, blue, green, it doesn't really matter what I got this. Volcanic Island, oh yeah. Failed to find. Okay. So. I kill Richard, and then just Krim has a turn to do whatever. Well, Krim gets to wheel. Yeah. And then maybe he wins off the wheel. I... Mm. <laughs> but, I mean, Richard like, wins the on tap, so... Yeah. All right. Let's just. Or, uh, yeah, we'll just I have Sylvan Library again, so it's possible. <laughs> we will attack, attack all these cards. Only fish. Okay. Tell me, did you draw any of those counter spells off of the uh, <laughs> the exploit? <laughs> <laughs> this was a moto win. He ex <laughs> used exploit. This is a moto win. <laughs> He used exploit, so if he wins, it counts for Moto. What? I'm reporting you to... Uh, so what you're saying here is, <laughs> automatically, <laughs> Richard and I are DCI. already second place. Yeah, we, we, we've already won. So now no, we're fighting for victory. first. Tomer's he would have been turns. DQ'd from the tournament already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seth is the only one to lose. <laughs> Everybody Ouch. won but yeah. Seth. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> that hurts. All right. And now we do this. Actually, I guess we go box. Would you like to block, Richard? <laughs> this will be good. Oh, interesting. Wait, why can't I use its ability? Oh, right. No, you can't. Just pass. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we now we use its ability and just. 
as long as everything goes right, then uh, white, red, blue, green, <laughs> black. Hello? Yeah, it worked! I think I did it right. Draw only one card. Fair and balance. And now we go to combat. Now attack room. <laughs> no, Spread no, the love. No, do not attack me. <laughs> well, you said, what does it matter if I draw more cards, right? What? No, it does matter <laughs> if you draw more cards. <laughs> oh, boy. But I this is overkill. Well, yeah. you know, sucks. <laughs> uh, Try to silence me, Tober. <laughs> no, 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 attack crim. Oh, actually, no. Do you want life? You can attack crim, and I can concede so you don't get the trigger. Oh, come on! Oh, well, well, no, no, no. I mean, so, no, if you so want the card spiting. draw. Oh, wow. Like the, no, 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 no. If he wants the card draw the right way, right? So if he wants... Actually, no, he gets one card no matter what. Never mind. This is fine. I'm just going to attack... I'm not gonna draw an extra card. I'm gonna gain some life, hopefully. I, I was trying to reverse you're, the. You're motor still, mode. you're still making up for the first three cards you drew. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He should be discarding. <laughs> Moto is not happy with this. By the way, I pressed, I pressed OK to attacks. Okay, so I could send these at Krim, but I'm gonna be good. Man, this is definitely <laughs> not worth those extra cards. <laughs> Why do I have to press yes to every ability? Why is it a may effect? Who said no to making warrior tokens in playtesting that designs like? That should be a conscious Maybe effort. Maybe there was a uh, rampaging Ferocidon and they were they didn't want to lose too much life. <laughs> in battle bond meta. Yes. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It, it's, it helps beat the Snoop combo, right? Alright, almost there. Cool. Let me see the Rakdos charm. Almost I mean, it, it, if if I can find a Rakdos charm, oh man, that would be so sick. I think I still survive Rakdos charm. Maybe. But if I cast it twice? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's right, Sean. Block! <laughs> Send a message. Well, maybe I should have kept it alive for the Rakdos charm. <laughs> Draw card. Oh, this feels bad. All right, Krim, you you can. Feels do it. bad. You have seven cards in hand. Krim has zero. <laughs> <laughs> you have like eighty thousand. He's got a wheel. He's, he has a wheel in his graveyard. I mean, he has to win this turn off the wheel. Yeah, or just wipe the board. You don't even have a pact of negation or something. This is what I'm wondering. Like, <laughs> what does Tomer's deck have? Not Thassa's Oracle. I took care of that for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. But like, but like, does Tomer play a board wipe? Right. So rude. Because wait, you try to steal a board wipe from his deck? <laughs> Praetor's grasp. <laughs> but I also want a wheel. Yeah, I don't think I don't see a world where I'm not wheeling. Right, like. Uh... I'll allow it. Wait. Can, it can, you can wheel into your pact. <laughs> uh huh. I had just a handful of, of interaction. What kind of interaction? The good kind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hold on. Let me read my primer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Consult the primer. Uh, did have the Praetor's Grasp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and equal to its man. Like, <laughs> if you wheel and lose the game, you should quit magic. <laughs> Does it say that? <laughs> I'm just saying right now. I have to figure out how I'm going to order. I this. mean, the last primer told Seth to lose. Are you trying to make a life, so pie? What, What's going on? <laughs> Let me see here. I get to look for any one thing. Uh oh my god. All right, all right, all right. So I think that that's how that works, but I need to find... Oh, man! Okay, hold on. So much pressure. I, I'm i pretty sure I'm about to mess this up. <laughs> like, Wait, you have the win? Like, so you're saying you have the win. <laughs> I, I have saying? a chance to win here. I'm just trying to figure out, is there... Like, example, what am I mystical tutoring for, right? 
I'm gonna I can try to tutor for a brain freeze. Keep digging until I find one card. Or hope that I find that one card. How, how does a brain freeze help you? Cause there's something I need. <laughs> you Maybe, also need a way mystical tutor goes to the top of your library. Right, right, right. Sense. And and that's why I'm okay with that. But then how do I get more mana? <laughs> Uh, you tutor for a dark ritual, big brain. Let me look at my deck list again. I I think I have one, two, three, four. Sorry, I'm like I'm like this is this is the thing that's annoying about the deck. You have to like <laughs> oh do wait. math. <laughs> wait 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 wait. Oh uh oh. Did, did we break it? Let me, let me think of, did we break it? We'll have a cold open. Did we do what the Primer class? said to do? <laughs> well, we I'm about to get break. the inactivity timer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you do have 10 minutes of clock on, on me, so I'm not going to complain. Take I mean, your I time, played, Crib. <laughs> I have played a land, right? <laughs> That's mostly all I've done. You have multiple lands. Okay. Are you playing the Turbo Cast deck? Is that the deck? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this primer is like a novel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 you see, this is what I'm talking about. Ooh. I'll allow it. Wait a minute. This, if you're ad nauseuming, then that's not a guaranteed win. Oh, his life total would have been relevant if I attacked him. Told you, you should have attacked him, and I could concede. No, be, I would, oh shames! That that would be the same effect. You would draw only one card. Yeah, probably should have taken it. I was repenting for my extra cards drawn. Oh yeah, that's true. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh wait, that scroll bar isn't going far enough. <laughs> you drew twenty four cards. What? <laughs> I mean, his deck is probably all like zero and one cost. Yeah. Oh, you have a peer into the abyss. Come on, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. There <laughs> we go. Life. We got it. We got, we got what we needed. You got there? Okay. Uh, I have Underworld Breach, which is what I needed. And now I have all the mana oh, in the world. Yeah, and then I'm just going to reoccur uh, all the mana rocks that I've got right now. So. Oh, you can just keep playing Wait, like Lotus Petal. Yeah. For yeah, I'm going to just keep Lotus Pedaling. Uh, and I and I and like I th I think that that'll be good enough. Wait, you don't have enough cards in your graveyard though. No, you, no, 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 no. Like, one second, one second. Let if me, you have six in the card, then you'll have enough cards in your graveyard. <laughs> you, you're right. <laughs> to go next turn. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, okay. Now that'll do it. it. Yeah, and then, you and then I, I, Yeah, so I, I do have all the magical creds that I need now. Um, let's see here, add mana. Right. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's there. You can probably just win like super easily now, right? Because you have Wish Claw. Right. So you can like Wish Claw yeah, for correct. consultation, and then Thassa's Oracle consultation. Is that the the plan? Yep. Yep. Because I have Wish Claw right here and Thassa's Oracle. I don't even have to do all of that. Yeah. You, so, you don't even I mean, have to I've, do yeah anything too crazy, really. But let me make sure that I don't mess this up. That's the only thing. Because <laughs> I do Let's need. See if you can because use the LED there's... correctly. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the only thing. <laughs> well, if you just cast Even Underworld you Breach, you're LED. good, right? Like, as long right, as, like, as, as, long as I field. cast Underworld Breach... And it doesn't get countered. <laughs> I mean, I have a ton of counter spells in my hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm auto-yielded. <laughs> <laughs> can't mess this up, right? All right, cool, can't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> can't mess this up, yeah. You never know. Uh, all right. Let me <laughs> Underworld Breach is so good. Yeah, I just have to make sure I don't mess up, that's all. Can you mess up now? Since you can cast stuff from your graveyard? I mean, even if you crack LED incorrectly, you still just keep cracking LED over and over and you can cast from your graveyard. So I'm going to play said Wish Claw. Okay. Check. Alright, so now... I can go ahead and crack the LED for, I need to, tr uh, I need to crack and get a black source, I believe. 
then I reoccur it. Even if I crack this incorrectly, I, yeah, you're right. I you should just do it a bunch yeah. of times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever's in your hand can be cast from your graveyard. You have enough yeah. cards now in the graveyard. You can do it. You got to screw up like 10 times or something before. <laughs> before it, you don't uh, know that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know I can't. When I can't, I can't. Dude, you're probably right, though. You knew it like seven times. You can recur from your graveyard seven times. You have 28 cards. And each one's four. Uh, Do you not have another wheel in your graveyard? What? Uh... Why? I mean, if you he just get need, a wheel, he need a wheel. Why do I need a wheel is what I mean. Then you can just like mill everything and just keep recurring it. I mean... And then you, you also naturally draw your library like that. Well, yes, yes, has his article in his graveyard already. Yeah. So, so now he just, just needs consultation. Oh, he, does? he just needs the consultation. Yeah, he just yeah. casts consultation, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he casts Oracle, and he wins. Uh, Thassa's Oracle intervention? No Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both work. Does not matter? <laughs> yeah, I, I need my deck gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deck is gone. Okay, as long as I don't mess this up. <laughs> Exile right. the LED. <laughs> now draw a card yeah. and lose. <laughs> draw Wait a, a card. minute. Ponder. <laughs> I'm very carefully making sure I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you just need to get double blue and then you toss his oracle. You can even move Jace if you want to be fancy. If you want to be on brand. No, no, no. <laughs> it's CDH. <laughs> <one. laughs> And because that exiles more cards. <laughs> In case Tomer counters me here. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. sandbagging the counter the entire time. Gotcha. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I look the figures. Oh, look. Stifle. I All did right. it. Let me reveal my hand. <laughs> Very oh. sweet. Oh, man. <laughs> so that was really clutch. Like, everybody, on every single turn, everybody can just kind of uh, threaten the win. Like, Krim, you didn't really have much of a board state. I was expecting a wheel, but that was it. And then it was like, boom, Underworld Breach, LED, yeah. infinite mana. Yeah, once, bam, bam, bam. once people get like a little bit of mana on the battlefield, it does feel like any deck can win at any time, essentially. Yeah. So yeah. If like you chained his cast, really it would have been good. <laughs> that that would have stopped him, I think. The what? what? The Chain of Vapors? Yeah, if you actually did that, Chain of Vapors. Was that that turn cycle? Because it cost them like, so much mana to redeploy Kess. Yeah. But, but I could still great. wheel. I could still do it and then wheel, though. It, yeah, but then you're really tight on mana, so you right. have to yeah. like the exact sequence. Yeah, I probably should have just copied it and then allowed Nujila to be bounced or whatever. I, I'm not even sure that I it was the right call, but like I did feel like I had to bounce that mystical uh, Remora, right? Because if I didn't... Tomer would draw a lot of cards, and I don't want him interacting on my turn. Yeah, right? like I, would I probably would have found like a force of negation or something. So that's correct. Smart. So I, I, I think I had to get rid of that and then try to like go off. Yeah, and I think on my end, I, I was thinking like I, I don't want to discard. I didn't want to sacrifice a land to copy it because I knew then uh, Nijila would get bounced, but I didn't need Nijila at that point. I could just like recast Nijila and attack randomly. So that was a bit of a goof, but. I think that 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 played out pretty well too. Like you got to see Najila, you got to see you got to see every deck kind of do its thing, right? Like uh, Richard got got a quick win uh, <laughs> or two. Shows. <laughs> yeah, showed you how to win and how to not win. I mean, uh, yeah. that was actually I think a, about the perfect way for that to go because, like you said, Richard won, I won, we both pulled off our combos. Tomer, you didn't technically win, but we definitely got to see your deck doing things that last game, and you were, like, at the point of winning, and then Crimsec won, so we actually had, like, four different decks, and they all managed to have a really good performance across three games. So, do you think that's, like, how CDH is? Is the format, like, I know it looks not very diverse, and the common thought is, oh, you can win really quickly, and we did see the, like, turn two Richard kill in our first game, but do you think that even though everyone's playing the same kind of combos all the decks are pretty balanced uh, and and no deck is like super far ahead of the other ones because that's kind of how it felt in this game is like whoever won the die roll whoever got a better draw whoever had like the force of will at the right time is the one that pulls ahead so it actually felt like uh, all those games were super close and uh going right down to the end really yeah, it felt it felt like every every deck was pretty balanced against each other uh cuz we were we were picking like 
uh, what CEDH community considers a top deck. So it seemed like the, there wasn't one that was like obviously way stronger than the others. And despite some of us having all the same win conditions, like in the end, I think I was running Demonic Consultation with Thassa's Oracle. Krim was running Demonic Consultation with Thassa's Oracle. And even Sestek was running uh, the same combo too. We all had alternate ways to win the game. And it also still felt very like different. Like the Najila deck looked very different from the first Sliver deck, even though they're both five color Oracle decks. Like I was still attacking and I have ways to win and capitalize off my commander. And you had also ways to win and capitalize off your commander. Like you had the food chain uh, combo, which is like one of the ways you win. And my deck is just like, I attack you infinite times and make infinite mana and infinite combat steps. So despite having like a bunch of like, maybe like, I would say up to like half the cards are the same. Like our mana base is the same. Our ramp package is the same. Our interaction package is the same. It still felt distinct. And I think that was largely because of the commander and like the few a commander specific cards that gave it like a distinct flavor. So I liked it a lot. Yeah. It's really interesting that the decks share like, I don't know. The lands are basically the same. Even a lot of the non land cards are the same. Maybe like more than 50% of our decks, probably even way higher than that. Maybe like 75% of our decks are the same cards, but they still do manage to have their own unique identity, even though there's so much overlap as far as like tutors, counter spells, lands, card draw, cantrips. Uh, but the decks still do manage to feel unique, even with so many cards shared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I have the same combos as you have. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I have the same breach loops. <laughs> so. Yep. I don't know. I mean, it was it was cool, right? But like for me personally, I I just feel like it's not my playstyle. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, believe it or not, even though I love the idea of like locking people out and whatnot, those games go for a long time, right? Like those games go forever. Uh, th- these games. They were okay. Like, they seemed fun for me. Like, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, but I, I don't know if I could see me playing this all the time. Uh, I do think this is just not my cup of tea, but I, you know, I, it, it's fun every now and then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It feels, it's like legacy or vintage. It's like super complicated. This is probably the hardest format to play. Like, you yeah. have 100 card singleton, you're playing three opponents. The variations are great. Uh, but at the same time, you really can't, modify these decks too much they're so streamlined like you really can't cut you really can't brew uh so you're kind of just like shoehorned into this uh and also the decks are just insanely expensive i mean yeah (laughs) ignoring ignoring the price though like i mean would you like would you play this because i mean that that's my thing like i i think let's just say this these everything here was a dollar right (laughs) like sure whatever but like I, I do think that the decision trees are are insane, right? Like, like if, if like my brain had more grooves, maybe I would have won even faster, right? But like the thing here is like, uh, like because you know, like this is also my first run with the deck, and it, it kind of plays like a storm deck and whatnot, right? Like, I do need to figure out all the decision trees, and like you look at the primer that I'm looking at, and there's like. There's like a crazy like map and chart of air, like every like line of like X happens, this is what you need to do, this happens, that 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 that. So like. There's a lot of decision trees. It's not by any means like an easy format, but at the same time, outside of price, like not including the price, I just, I don't know, like this is the power level and, you know, like, like you had mentioned, Richard had mentioned the lack of being able to like throw my like, I mean, I guess I could throw my meme cards in here. I just would lose immediately. Right. But like, (laughs) but yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, this is just not my cup of tea because of that. Like the lack of brewing and for me at least and whatnot. I feel like for me, yeah, price is obviously a big deal. I will never own a CDH deck because I <laughs> would not want to have an eight thousand dollar CDH deck. But um if price was not a consideration, I don't think I would play CDH over what we normally play, but I would definitely have a deck around and play it once in a while because I do think it is a fun format. But I personally feel like it's an entirely different format than what we normally play on Commander Clash. Like the, the power level is so different. Even the theory of it, the deck building, uh, is so different that to me, I just think of it like multiplayer, like singleton vintage or legacy. And I think in that context, it's actually really fun, but I don't think it would ever replace like lower powered, more casual, uh, EDH for me. I feel much the same way. It's like if, if all these cards were a dollar, I would a hundred percent build a CEDH deck. Do I want to play that over like our regular, like mid tier power level decks? 
No. Uh, I, 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 part of the fun for me for Commander is kind of like uh, expressing myself and my creativity with cards that I like and being able to play against other people who are having the same power level so I can actually express myself with those cards and those decks. And in CEDH, I, I do think there is a, a definitely a level of expression, like uh, just playing Snoop Combo instead of Thassa's Oracle. I'm sure that was probably like the brainchild of some people who are just like, I want to try something different. I want to show off uh, a different style of play. And like I mentioned, I was going to play a different deck that was um, not Thassa's Oracle either. It was uh, the Thrasios Bruce Tarl Advantage deck, which is, I think, just Dylan's personal deck that he really likes. And it's it's CDH, but it's like his own style, his own way of expressing himself. So I do think there are differences, uh, despite, you know, half the decks all being, you know, the same cards. Uh, I It's not something that I would uh, play regularly, but I I really like it as just like, changing it up every once in a while. It would definitely be a deck that I would just bust out every once in a while. And when I play it rarely, like an uncommon amount of times, I really enjoy it, but I wouldn't want to play it constantly for sure. I would, I would, I would, uh, I like sticking to casual more often, but this is, this is always a nice change of pace. Like doing it like once or twice per season is, is something I definitely look forward to doing it more than that would kind of ruin the fun though. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem. You need to play it a lot. The decks are so complicated. Like, we yeah. are barely executing our combos. We need to be playing, like, on level two and three and, like, you know, playing safe and going for it. We're just, like, fumbling around, right? So you, we need to actually put in a lot of hours to come to become proficient with the deck. And then you can actually experience true CEDH, yeah. right? Like, the, the game of, like, how do I combo through these three other players who uh know i'm about to combo but they have their also their own combos and stuff like that uh which we don't really get to express because we're like oh what do i tutor here Let me <laughs> yeah. right? uh, like, i guess i'll just let that that chain of vapor resolve we're, we're like barely anything. crawling on the ground right yeah. And yeah so yeah you do need to play a lot of games right just just like if you were to practice for a pro tour or something you need to play a lot of games i i, uh, I so yeah mm. I do think though that the, I don't think CEDH is probably like that intimidating to get into once you've started playing some games, just because a lot of the win line, the lines to win are very similar throughout the decks because everybody's doing like the Thassa's Oracle consultation or some variant of food chain and stuff and like that. And, you know, decks have their own variants, but if you only have like three or so win conditions and lines like most efficient ways to get to those uh, win conditions and everybody's ramp is the same, everybody's tutor is the same, all that stuff. I feel like once you've played like a bunch of Thassa's Oracle decks, you can change it up between different commanders, but your lines are still going to be the same. So like the when you learn like one Oracle deck, you, you are pretty proficient with the other ones. And just the fact that like basically every single CDH deck has like half the, the same cards, you're going to be proficient on like all right, what are what are the things I need to be uh, responding to with Swan Song? What are the what are the best tutors? What are the best ramp? What are the best executing those ramp cards? Since half the decks are all the same, uh, you like just playing one deck, you'll be more proficient with all the other decks that you want to play. I think that's my theory. Yeah. I haven't actually got it. It, it would there be myself. interesting to see <laughs> like a pro tour CEDH, like if you watch like top pros playing CEDH and them going through it and how, uh, you know, there's another dimension of play. So a dimension of play that happens in real life and never happens on the pro tour are things like politics, things like bluffing and things like that. Like they, they don't factor that much into regular standard. Uh, but in CEDH, it would be pretty interesting to see actually like top tier pros playing and working through all of the math to figure out what the best percentage is to combo off i think i think it would be really fun i think also uh as far as the price thing it, i think it is important to mention that it's way cheaper on magic online like yes it's eight thousand dollars <laughs> in paper but my deck's like 369 decks on magic uh dollars on magic online which is more than my typical commander clash deck but not like a ton more and it's not out of line with like playing a lot of other formats, like if you wanted to build a modern deck or even a pioneer deck, uh, some of the top tier decks in those formats are in that price range. So you can get a lot of really powerful cards on Magic Online for really cheap. So I think that's uh, one way you could play the format and not spend a ridiculous amount of money. 
Uh, it's still so expensive though. Like Tomer just put up the series of five ticket decks. Like, would you rather have a hundred five ticks decks or like one CEDH <laughs> deck on Magic Online? So I, I don't know if we're allowed to, to to mention it, but I don't know. I think like people, I, I will say just a statement that CDH communities generally are okay with proxies. I'm just saying it's something. So I don't know. If that's uh, I don't know if editor will have to cut that out afterwards, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the CEDH community, like no, we're not okay. With it. <laughs> cut that out of your video. Tober does not speak for us. We are not. Tober, okay with yeah, this. Tober does not speak for us. What is this? Oh boy. All right. Well, yeah, it is. It is quite expensive, but I mean, if you do want to play it uh, and get all the cards, then Magic Online is probably the way to do it. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Well, that it wraps up CDH. Uh, we don't get to play it too many times. So it's, it's always a treat for me personally. And I do like also the discussion about it afterwards because that's always kind of like a controversial I- issues issue. And, 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 uh, yeah, just a lot of people don't get to see it that often. So, uh, there's going to be plugs to other CDH channels that are focused on CDH. And we'll play the decks far more proficiently than us. So if you are interested in that sort of stuff, I will link a couple of the the ones that I know of on YouTube. Definitely check out Play to Win. They provided all the decks for us. Though they aren't the creators of all the decks, but they provided links to them. So check those out. Check out the CDH community if you're interested in that. We'll have links below. And until next time, everyone, see ya! Thank you, loyal viewer, for being one of the very few people who actually makes it to the very end of the video. Your reward for getting here is, you guessed it, a relevant plug. If you liked the five ticket decks here and are interested in trying out Magic Online with these free decks with Card Hoarder, then check out the two articles I did recently showing you how to set up your Magic Online account, how to set up a Card Hoarder free loan account, and each article comes with five decks that you can borrow for free including the feather list I played and got destroyed with. Uh, great advertising for that deck there, by the way. Both articles are on the screen right now, so you can just give them a click and make that YouTube algorithm happy. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.